Hi and welcome back to my channel if you're new. Welcome my name is Claire and I'm, this is going to be a part two of a Q&A video I tried to do last week but it went a little bit wrong but you lot seem to really enjoy it which is good which is good. So I did a Q&A last week and I did it while wearing a bubble mask. I thought around the same sort of time 20 minutes put a mask on you know it'll just feel like I'm relaxing chatting to you and everything and yeah it'll be good but the mask was falling off my face and oh my gosh it was a nightmare it was a really really terrible mask to do for a Q&A my skin felt great afterwards the so combining the two together wasn't that great because I only got through so many questions I decided to do a part two and this time I am doing another mask because it's a good way of me using up my masks as well but it's a rubber one so I'm assuming it's going to be stuck to my face like glue and it won't budge I'm hoping anyway <laughs> that if you're interested to see my the first part of this video which is last week's one with a bubble mask I'll add a card up above and it'll be written down in the description as well. So this mask, it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Really, really odd. I think it came out around this time last year from looking online. So it's not new at all, but it's a little bit different and it looks quite cool. It costs £8. I bought it from ASOS a little while ago, but it's been stuck in the corner here, ready to do, but I've never done it. So I thought, perfect opportunity. So apparently this is what I'm going to be looking like. <laughs> like a rubber baby. All right then. So this is called Dr. Jart Rubber Mask Shake and Shot. That's what it looks like there. So it's pretty cool. So you've got everything inside to make your own mask. <laughs> so I'm, hope I'm hopeful it'll go okay. I am. So what's it say here? Shake up, give skin a shot, instant soothing boost. Because I've tried a rubber mask before and it went wrong, it was just falling off in clumps. There's a pattern forming here, isn't there? <laughs> Hopefully this won't be as bad, but I didn't put enough water in it, so it was too dry and it was just coming off in clumps. So just in case something like that happens with this one, I'm going to go off, take off all my makeup, and then I'll come back after reading as well all the instructions so I know exactly what to do. So when I come back, I am rearing to go. So I think that's the plan. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> So inside you've got a spatula, a little booklet here with more information and you've got two like sets of liquid mask type things. So I've got to put these two in here, mix it around, give it a shake and then apply it to my face and it's as simple as that. So hopefully it'll all go to plan. So one was like a cream and the other was a liquid and oh the liquid smells gorgeous. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see in there without me tipping it out. Let's see there. I'm just going to mix it all up together. Ugh, it looks like it's all curdling. To the side. <laughs> right, I've got to do this. I've got to mix it all up and apply it to my face within three minutes. So I've got to do it now. I've got to do it now. Okay. Ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, it feels weird. It does feel weird. Okay. A brush would be better. Move my hair. I'll speed this up for you. Right, I think that's it. <laughs> I've still got, ooh, hold on a minute. I still got quite a bit left in there. So it just says leave for up to 20 minutes and then starting from the edges gently peel off the mask it's looking okay at the minute yeah it's quite easy to put on that spatula is a little bit difficult i prefer brushes to put things on like this but it's okay got a little bit of my hair but that's fine but yeah hopefully we are going to have a better q a session than my bubble mask but let's see what this likes and how it dries i'm hoping it dries like a complete rubber face that's what i'm hoping anyway i haven't seen any reviews so i don't know what it's going to be like ah, i should have known i should have known it happened last time phone doesn't recognize my face never mind Ooh, i can feel it drying Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it is itchy above my nose i'm on my youtube community page so if you haven't seen it I just post up a few posts now and again and I think that's the one. No, it's not. Which one is it? Oh, that's what I look like in my last <laughs> Q&A. 
so it's down here there it is i posted it up a long while ago so answering some of the questions here then hey and another one top five holiday destinations and why oh my gosh okay my i'm a little bit obsessed with greece and italy always have done always always have done i've been i'm a little bit of a ancient history geek and it's always been my dream to study archaeology i've done some courses like online courses and things like that and yeah i just love it absolutely love it but yeah i always wanted to go to pompeii and santorini and obviously got a thing for volcanoes obviously <laughs> and eruptions um and ancient civilizations and things so yeah there's a lot i want to see but my top De five destinations are i'd have to say greece number one italy number two and even though i've been to a few of them um and my my dream is to go around all the greek islands well not all of them but i'd love to like spend a month island hopping going around different islands then but um and italy there are so many places in italy oh oh there's loads i don't know croatia i'd say number three greece italy croatia where else would I like to go? Oh, I can't, I'm useless at thinking on the spot. Um, Iceland, Iceland. Um, and another one, which, which, which what? I don't know, I'd love to go to New York. I'd love to go to New York, but um, yeah. So yeah, so Italy, Greece, Croatia, and New York. <laughs> yeah so next question what products are you hoping will be in some of the next years look fantastic look latest in beauty etc the subscription boxes oh i don't know we had an amazing box this month i think with look fantastic it was such an amazing box it contained a lot of products that are quite affordable as well i think the whole box of six items came to less than 50 pounds the value then but um but yeah no really impressed and i think it's because they added items that are quite well known and they are quite affordable like they had a morphe product never received a morphe product in a subscription box before same with the ordinary the hyaluronic acid that was in this box as well again another affordable product you're talking just under six pounds i think that's what excites me i love trying high end don't get me wrong i love 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 trying it but i also get excited to try products that i haven't tried before or might be new or something i haven't thought of trying before that are within reach <laughs> wise then you know i think it'd be great if subscription boxes would contain more like products from the ordinary hard for me to actually pinpoint exactly what i'd like to see in boxes so cool products well-known products affordable products and products that um are a little bit different <laughs> whatever they may be sorry that's a pretty vague answer really isn't it it's really hard to pinpoint certain things zoeva oh my gosh i'd love it if they were to pop in a zoeva makeup brush and because i just i've got a load of them anyway but you, should, you can never have enough <laughs> So another question, how do you stay productive and enthusiastic on YouTube? Oh my gosh, I am super busy on YouTube, super busy. Um, I don't blame you at all if you don't watch all of my videos because I do tend to post up quite a few during a week. So at the moment I'm a stay at home mum so I do, I am quite busy in doing certain things but I do have that little bit extra time to be able to do YouTube. So with my subscription boxes, as soon as they come, then I unbox them. If I'm home in the afternoon, then I do that. I can feel it drying now. Look, ooh, there, it's coming apart a little bit. Still really wet, but anyway, as soon as a parcel comes and it's a box, then yeah, if I've got time, I will either unbox it that morning or I might pop out and then I'll come back and then I'll unbox it in the afternoon. And then, I edit it and then it depends on the time. I might put it up that evening or I might schedule it for the next day or two, something like that. It's starting to itch now. Oh, hold on. Let's use a Jeffree Star brush. Do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep that there. It just feels weird. No. So the question of how I how do I keep productive and enthusiastic is because I love receiving subscription boxes. I, I tend to not want to know what's inside them. I don't know, I've been doing this for two years now and I'm noticing the months are flipping, going fast. But I am kept busy and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love reviewing beauty products. I've got a few things lined up. This is one of them, which you'll be seeing next week. I can't wait to try this. It's the Ordinary Brand New Cleanser 
and yeah I can't wait to try it it's about five pounds so yeah looking forward to trying that so I've got a few things lined up and I love doing that I got some lipsticks I got quite a few it's not that I'm stuck for content as long as you lot enjoy it and you keep watching then I just carry on doing what I'm doing obviously I want to learn a bit more I want to learn how to create a nice intro I want to make like I don't know the lighting better like I'm finding some of my videos I can have like a bit of a yellow cast so I'm looking into how to color correct my videos uh yeah so things like that so I'm never bored never ever bored I just I just love it I love doing travel vlogs they are not my best watched videos I've got to be honest but I just love creating them so I've got Amsterdam coming up in May and then I'm going to Corfu in Greece in July as well so yeah I've got them coming up yeah there's always stuff to do always but it just excites me I just love it I love it and yeah so no no problems with productivity and enthusiasm at the moment anyway <laughs> another question how many children do you have I have seven no I'm joking I have three they don't want to be on camera well my little one does right I'll tell you my oldest one his name is Harley and he is 20 he's going to be 21 this year then my middle e is Jasmine and she's 12 she's going to be 13 this year and then my youngest is Oliver and he's nine and he's going to be 10 this year Oliver would love to be in my videos but my other two they're like no way so when I went to Catalonia last year as a family holiday it was a nightmare trying to vlog because they don't want to be in it at all and my husband although he's not that fussed but he was like rather not okay rather not but he's all right but no my two eldest children are like no way i am weary about keeping my private life private but um yeah i think there's nothing wrong in you know the odd one or two video of my little one if that's what he wants and things so yeah so yeah i've got three kids not seven <gasps> another question is tea spilled on the life as a youtuber oh my gosh a life of a youtuber my word oh it's itching my nose again now hold on oh, hold on my mouth Ooh, you can see it coming away from my mouth so spilling the tea as a youtuber nothing i'm really boring <laughs> No, I'm I keep out of drama and stuff. I can't be asked with it in all honesty. There's no no it, I can't I can't be. I have got no interest whatsoever in drama. I've got no interest in bitchiness. If someone's bitchy, that's it. You can get lost. I've got no I've got no interest. I've got no interest whatsoever, you know. It's it, there's some beauty youtubers on youtube that i don't like and it's because i'm so flipping moralistic and i don't like lies and i don't like fakeness and stuff which <laughs> there are some interesting things that i've had chats with with other youtubers but i can't say it's about mainly it's about certain youtubers creating extra accounts and leaving nasty comments on certain people's um videos I won't go into details that's enough tea from me because yeah no 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 tea no tea <laughs> another question what's your favorite beauty box to review and receive and why um oh it's tough I get asked this question as you probably would imagine loads and loads of times I think Ah, oh, see, I'm, I've been with Look Fantastic, Glossy Box and Pink Parcel the longest. I've been with Look Fantastic for t just over a year and the other two I've been with just over two years. So a long time. Um, yeah, Pink Parcel has had its ups and downs, as you well know. Hopefully they're like coming through a bit now. And as long as they stop their repeats, I think, you know, I'll, I'll continue to stay with them for a long while again. But um, I don't know, the box that excites me the most... But no, if I had to pick a favourite at this moment, I think it would have to be join Glossy Box and Look Fantastic. I think, anyway. But what else is out there? What else do I do? I can't think now. I can't think. I can't. Loads. I used to love getting anonymous jewellery. I loved that. Absolutely loved it. But then the prices have gone right up. I noticed that some of the products, some of their jewellery pieces and things, I've seen when I've been doing my Wish jewellery haul. <laughs> So I've been on to Wish, I've had a look on their website and it's like, oh, I recognise that necklace, that necklace is 99p, but it, 
it's anonymous jewelry has got it in their box of like three pieces of jewelry for like 17 18 pound so that puts me off but i used to love it getting a jewelry box like a bohemian style necklace uh, bracelets etc you get to choose what you wanted oh i loved it but yeah oh there's loads i'm looking for a really lovely book subscription and i've seen one i but i think it's in the us but they ship worldwide it's called once upon a time but i think it's more aimed for people a lot younger than me possibly teenagers but i love the concept you receive a book you get products in the box and it's all wrapped up and stuff and numbered i believe so you read through the book and then you might get to a page and it says open product number one so you open it up and that refers to whatever you're reading in the book i just love that so I might get it just to see what it's like and yeah I love reading books for younger people anyway so yeah I might get that right I'm talking non-stop how long have I got here no I'm doing okay right I'll go through these quickly what did you do before YouTube so as far as career choices go is a little bit of a story I'll try and keep it brief because I know I tend to go on and on and on but I always wanted to do hairdressing and beauty from when I was little so I did that I fell pregnant when I was 21 had my son Harley when I was 22 then I had went through a really tough time medically so I had preeclampsia with Harley I was hospitalized before I had him and then I was quite unwell afterwards as well just battling with my blood pressure and things um not long after I had him I'd say for about a month to six weeks after I had him I started developing gallstone problems never had it before anyway it got so bad I had to have an operation but the operation went wrong and I ended up in intensive care and I was in hospital for a couple of months over the summer when he was only a couple of months old so yeah I had to have a few operations and things but then while I was recovering in the hospital I noticed I had a really dodgy arm a arm <laughs> not an arm a mole on my arm you can see it there Woo, there it's like a big chunk is taken out my arm I I developed malignant melanoma I had skin cancer um, so yeah so a lot of things happened to me a lot of medical intervention operations the lot all in the course of like a year basically and yeah it just really changed me as a person completely changed me as a person so when I became well and everything I was interested in psychology so I started studying psychology with the Open University and then I got a job as a psychiatric nurse and assistant then in a psychiatric hospital and I loved it I absolutely loved it I was there for two years and then I fell pregnant with Jasmine so I had to finish and then I got into counselling then I started doing counselling courses and then eventually I went on to do a counselling degree and I graduated in July 2016 so it is something I really want to get back into doing but impossible but more but I think at the moment without going into too much detail there is some issues going on um, at home with us and um, I can't I, I can't at the moment I, I just can't do it so in a couple of years time you know when the kids are older and stuff so maybe I can get back into counselling I've done um, I would love to work with children my special interest is autism I'd love to work with children and adults with autism um, so yeah it is something that I still want to do I love counselling I love the training I love the volunteering as well I volunteered with Mind for nearly three years as a mental health counsellor so yeah I do love it the reason I stopped counselling and the reason I started YouTube was because my mum had a major major stroke when she was 63 or 64 it was two years ago anyway and um huge 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 impact on the family and stuff and I just felt that I just couldn't my mind wasn't I couldn't I couldn't be there for people so now I've come through and all is okay and everything but and my mum is okay but there's lots of other things going on which I can't say on YouTube because it's not fair but uh so yeah so that was really long I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry if I've bored you right this is still not dry yet it's got to be fully dry so I start oh, I forgot I started YouTube because my mum was in hospital and um because she can't walk or talk well, she's she still can't she's paralyzed all down her right side she's able to talk um, but she's not able to have a conversation so she can only just say words and she can't pronounce words properly so when she was in hospital recovering she was in hospital for a good few months um 
I, John and I, my husband, we went to Santorini uh, about six months beforehand and to celebrate me turning 40 and me getting a degree in counselling. So my parents looked after our children and we went for a week away on holiday together. So I made videos and stuff so I decided to put them up on YouTube then to show mum. And I just thought, oh, do you know what? YouTube is something I've always wanted to do. Do you know why? It's the little bit of the exhibitionist inside of me, but also it's part of me because I love chatting. <laughs> I talk non-stop. So I think it's just me talking to the camera now. It just, I can visualize you all looking and smiling or chatting back and stuff. So it's not, it doesn't feel alien to me. And I've always had a camera in my hand. No matter where I've been, I've always been videoing. I've been vlogging before vlogging even existed or the concept of vlogging as such. So yeah, so I decided to do it. I decided to why not and i love subscription boxes and beauty so i did that so I, that's where my sort of interest came from what products would you love to try that you can't push yourself to buy due to costs etc charlotte tilbury <laughs> I would love to try her products. Um, I'm, I won't buy her products. I would, but I won't buy her products in case I don't like them. Because obviously I'm not working, so I have to be careful with money. But if I was able to get samples of her products or try certain products or like travel sizes or something like that, I doubt it if subscription boxes would add any Charlotte Tilbury products in their boxes. But if I could try before I buy, then if I fell in love with this particular product, then I probably would go out and buy it. So say, I don't know, a foundation that's cost like 30, 40 pound. If I found a sample, tried it, loved it, then I might go out and buy it and have it like as a favorite, like a best foundation then, you know? But um, as far as like eyeshadows and other things like that, I'm just, I don't want to spend that money. My most extravagant sort of money spending is um, Urban Decay palettes. So you're talking 35, 40 pound, but I love Urban Decay. I love them and I know the formulas are great the colors are great and everything so I know what I'm getting before I buy it but also oh, it cosmetics is another brand I am dying to try there's so many products the bye bye poor one the red bye bye redness on the the cre redness cream anti-redness cream the cc cream I'm dying to try that it's uh, it's about 30 odd pound again i think you only get like 30 ml and yeah it's a cc cream but it's also got like spf 50 in it which sounds amazing so yeah charlotte tilbury it cosmetics and i don't know oh there's lows to be honest there is lows <laughs> but those are the top two that i'd love to try so last question then what do you want from 2019 oh my gosh i think the main thing for me is my health try and sort out my health um i'm currently on a autoimmune protocol diet it's something that i'm going to start to incorporate into my life more regularly it's an elimination diet i will be doing a video on it more when i'm started noticing differences i did do a video la no two years ago about it just explaining what it's all about and how to get started and things and you eliminate foods that are known to cause inflammation in your body and then the aim is to reintroduce these foods back when you're starting to feel healed, once your gut is healed and things, and just to see what foods cause the problems. But um, I find it extremely difficult. It's like paleo, but a lot stricter. So it is tough because it's dairy-free, gluten-free. You can't have potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, uh, spices, no grains, nothing like that. So it is tough. But me, the biggest thing for me is my health and working out a way of looking after myself but realistically i'm also planning on doing a video series about where i live not actually where i live but the surrounding area so i'll be going to certain places that are quite well known and vlogging and showing you what it's like so if you're ever curious to see where i live and what the places are like then those will be coming up possibly in the summer so when the weather gets really nice so say may onwards so that's a plan for 2019 the, oh there is one thing i want to have this year and that is a p.o box more and more companies are messaging me to the point where i'm getting emails every single day from lots of people all over the world asking me to, if I'm interested in reviewing their things for my channel um, which is amazing it is completely amazing it is bonkers absolutely bonkers I'm turning down a lot I won't do sponsorship so 
unless it's with like, I don't know, Urban Decay or something, or a product that you know I 100% love, then there's no way that you will see sponsorship on my on my channel. In all honesty, I just can't be bothered with it. I can't be bothered with signing a contract. It's just, oh no, I don't want it. I don't, I don't want the hassle. This is a hobby. This is fun. And if I'm receiving PR, then oh my gosh, it's wonderful. But I don't want any commitments, if you know what I mean. So I'm getting companies messaging me and I've had and I do get quite a lot more. I'd say since I hit around 5,000 subscribers, it's coming more and more and more. Lots of people want me to review things, you know, for free, for free. But I've also had um, sponsorship as well, or people offering sponsorship, but I've, I've just turned them down because of what I've just told you. But um, I just find in it that, oh my God, so many people know my address, my personal home address, and it's starting to freak me out a little bit. I know it's stupid, but I don't like it. And a few people have kindly asked to send me like Christmas cards and things like that, like subscribers, which is absolutely lovely, really, really lovely. But I am just so weary about sending my real address out so definitely for 2019 I want to see I want to try and get I want to see if I can get a PO box um yeah which cost like 300 odd pounds which is ridiculous but it's for the year and yeah I just think for peace of mind I know then you know I've got this PO box and it'll be f and I can just give that address out and it'll be fine so this has gone on for so long so let's pull this off <gasps> Shall I zoom you in a bit? I hope I haven't bored you. I feel like I've just gone on and on and on. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at it. So it's not as rubbery as I thought, but yeah, it's fine. It's still a bit wet there. But, oh. Oh. Oh, I was hoping it would come off all in one. Oh, it's nice. It's nice and easy to come off. Yeah. You can see dirt underneath there. <laughs> So I've got bits around my edges, got a little bit of redness there. I usually do have with masks actually. It feels really nice and soft. I've got bits all over my face. So I'm gonna go off and wash this now. But no, as far as a mask goes, I think that's quite nice. It's quite pricey. What was it, eight pound? I can't remember now. But it's Dr. Jart, it's a Korean brand. So it can be a little bit more pricier, but no, it felt nice, it felt nice. It felt yeah it felt nice on my skin and peeling it off was really nice as well the only negative is the spatula just applying it was a bit of a nightmare but I think I would try with a brush if I was to do it again but yeah I'd love to know if you've tried this before oh my word it looks like slime black look at that Way. <laughs> that's what it looks like oh my word Oh, squidgy squidgy oh it feels so nice so yeah so i'll let you be now <laughs> i'll let you go see i chat non-stop i could chat non-stop so that's why i don't do lives because yeah i'm a little bit i'm not self-conscious so no i'm starting off on another tangent now right i'm gonna go thank you i hope you enjoyed watching if you did as always if you could give me a big like and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come i've got a 10k subscriber giveaway going on at the moment so if you haven't seen that and you want to enter you're welcome to i'll pop a link down in the description so it'll take you there so take care and i'll speak soon bye